Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over the very basic Python libraries, math. If we, if we say import math, like so, it will allow us to use mathematical functions within Python. So if we say x equals math dot sqrt, which stands for square root, and let's put in 81, it should, and then we print x, it should print 9, because the square root of 81 is 9. And as you can see, 9. Uh, ignore the point o, obviously point o, um, you can just drop that and it'll still say 9, so. Okay, now let's try, there are quite a lot of things, so we can say x equals, uh, let's, yeah, let's say x equals math dot seal and then 1.4 and this you'll see what this does uh, if I run the right thing sorry uh, there we go uh, oh we're not printing it we would use probably print X as well afterwards so it should print 9 and then 2 yep so the 9 obviously comes from here so this outputs outputs 9 and as you saw, this actually outputs 2. And that is because math.seal will automatically round any number up. So it could be 1.1, it will be rounded up to 2. It will, it will forget, no matter what the decimal point is, it will round it up. We can do the same. If we say x equals math.floor, 1.4, and then print x. Assuming, you know, you've got ceiling and floor, you can kind of assume what floor is going to do. It's going to round it down. So, outputs, 1. Uh, now, there are also a few other things, like math.pi, which is pi. So, x equals math.pi. And then if we print x, it should output something along the lines of 3.14159265. Yeah, three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three. Um, outputs three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine. Okay, that's all I remember. I think three two three. Then I don't know. We're just putting brackets here. Pi. Um, and that's basically it. that's that, that's. I'm not going to go through everything, but that's kind of. There are also a couple of other things. If we could say that x equals min. Um, and then let's put in here 5, 10, and 25, and then print x, and it will print 5, and what that actually does is it finds the minimum and maximum value um, that is sent in here. So if we then said um, x equals max 5, 10, and 25, and then print x so this outputs uh five so this should output 25 because it's the maximum it's the highest value that we're inputting and yeah it does 25 and that's basically it there are also a few other functions which you know I, you know i'll go through everything now I will link a document in the description for math and like what you can do with it. Um, there's a lot actually. This is what I'm reading it off of and I'll leave the Python document in the uh, description. We've got x equals abs and then let's say um, minus 3.25. And then we'll print x. Now what abs does is it returns the positive value of the number. So it will take the negative. So this should turn minus 3.25 into 3.25. Um, outputs 3.25. So it basically just flips the, flips the, um, the symbol. So I'm not with it today. Uh, was, you know, flips... Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it, it gives it the opposite. 
Uh, there is also another function which is pretty cool, which is the pow function. Uh, x equals pow. And, by the way, these are built-in maths functions. So, the, so th these up here are part of the math module. These are built-in. So these ones you don't I don't think you need import math for these ones. These are built in. If I was to run this now it would give an error. If I run the right thing. Yeah, now that I've got rid of the import math, it'll give an error. Whereas if I remove that and then run it, it yeah, these work. So you don't actually need the import math for anything down here. Now POW, what POW does, if you put like free and like uh, let's say 2 then print x it will output 3 to the power of 2 which should be you know, 9 uh, yeah 9 it basically takes the first um, thing and outputs it to the power of the second thing so outputs 9 and that's basically everything I wanted to show you so this should be alright now so I hope you did enjoy this video. As I said, I'll leave a link to the documents below where you can mess around, play around a bit more. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video, everyone. If you did like it, make sure to leave a like. And if you're enjoying our videos, make sure to hit subscribe and goodbye.